Have you ever wondered what the world would be like with dinosaurs still roaming our planet? As you may have guessed, today's topic is augmented reality. So when my district first started experimenting with augmented reality, we had a Google exploration session at a professional development day. And as I was playing with a coral reef activity on my iPad, the director of curriculum came in, looked at my iPad screen and said, Good Lord! Is that what is living in our carpets? <laughs> and although it's not, it does give a good testimony for how realistic augmented reality can be. And how much we need to vacuum our carpets. <laughs> so today, our learning objectives are to define augmented reality, or AR, to report the benefits of augmented reality, and then finally to identify an augmented reality app that will work for your instructional design. Let's start by defining augmented reality. Unlike the full immersion of virtual reality, augmented reality aims to make the world you already see so much cooler. <laughs> augmented reality is when digital information is overlaid onto the actual physical world. Your camera detects a target image and can figure out how close or far and at what angle the target image is from the camera using sensors. It then projects digital information onto that target image and voila! augmented reality. In fact, Snapchat lens filters. Let's switch over to see exactly how this works. Okay, so here we are in Snapchat, and as you can see, Snapchat uses facial recognition to create a target image of my face. So now that it has something to track, it can project digital information onto my face. And that's the basics of augmented reality. Some of the earliest uses of augmented reality were the heads-up displays on fighter jets, allowing pilots to see important information projected in front of them on their windshields. This technology eventually made its way to automobiles and even your eyeglasses with Google Glass. There are many apps you can download right now that utilize augmented reality. Yelp, for instance, has a feature called Monocle that lets you see restaurant reviews and information around you. The Snapshop Showroom app uses augmented reality to show you how furniture will look in your room before you buy. And AR Zombies lets you shoot zombies around the office like your Rick from The Walking Dead. One of the most impressive uses of AR for gaming came with the announcement of the Microsoft HoloLens. The HoloLens uses advanced sensors and hardware to scan your room and creates images based on your physical space. You can interact with these images and see them from different angles using the HoloLens headset. So when real reality is not enough and virtual reality is too much, augmented reality should be just right. So now that we know that Snapchat is already using AR and we're all at least somewhat familiar with Snapchat, let's talk a little bit more about how you've already been exposed to this amazing technology. So let's talk about augmented reality in our world. In 2020, 15% of the population was using augmented reality. In fact, you may recognize this screenshot here from Pokemon Go. This game has been downloaded 1 billion times since 2016, and it is used in the United States by 827,000 users daily. In fact, in one year, 
six billion miles were walked by people playing Pokemon Go and engaging in the real physical world. Let's see how it looks when we're playing the game in augmented reality. So you can see the screen says tap to find the Pokemon and one pops up right there in my driveway. Oh, but it gets away. Whenever you see the grass pop up, that's when you know there's a Pokemon hiding in your physical space. Notice I'm walking around my driveway, not just waiting for things to appear on my screen, but going to them. Oh, it got away again. It's not just games though. 16% of retailers say that they are using augmented reality as well. You may recognize apps such as Wayfair and even Amazon's mobile app. Let's take a look at how these work. We'll start with the Wayfair app. Here I have found a twig and branch piece of art that I wanna see how it fits in my guest bedroom. I can tap to place it where I want on the free space on the wall. You can see it then gives me the measurements and I can even move it around to make sure it will fit centered on the headboard. And then from here, if I like it, I can add it to my cart. Let's take a look at how that works in Amazon. Here's an Echo Dot. So it's not even like furniture artwork, but Amazon knows this is an engaging piece of technology. So I've placed it onto my bookshelf and now I can move it around, I can drag it, I can rotate it, I can walk up to it. And just like with Wayfair, if I like it, I can add it to my cart. Believe it or not though, augmented reality isn't new. In fact, it was first invented back in 1957 by a cinematographer named Morton Helig. He developed this contraption called the Sensorama and it brought sounds, visuals, vibrations, and smells to the viewer. Then in 1968, Ivan Sutherland invented this head-mounted display just so that he could see a cube in his room. And then many of us are familiar with the Star Wars movies. In 1977, we saw R2-D2 project this holographic image of Princess Leia. Can you imagine when Zoom got so popular last year, how amazing it would have been if we could have presented ourselves as holographic images? I bet you we would have gotten a lot more students to pay attention. Okay, let's take a look now at augmented reality and how it has the ability to transform our educational experiences. The magic of augmented reality is not limited to social media apps or mobile games. Today, AR is a highly sought after technology in many fields, particularly education. Be it classrooms, medical procedure rooms, military camps, or manufacturing assemblies, customized AR apps can offer the best training. Experiencing AR doesn't require buying bulk headsets or devices. Just with your mobile phone and its camera, you can enjoy the immersive AR experience. So how does augmented reality transform digital learning experience? It's said that the human brain processes visuals 60,000 times faster than text. 90% of information transmitted to the brain from our senses happens to be visual. For example, a theoretical lecture on human anatomy is less effective than a 3D modeling powered by an AR application. AR applications in classrooms can improve learning experience, simplify complex concepts, enhance student engagement, and motivate learners. Manufacturing and automotive companies use AR to optimize industrial work training. Augmented reality can let employees get hands-on practice, identify more training opportunities, provide a safe learning environment, and support novice remote workers on the field. Augmented reality has eliminated the time and location barriers that constrain learning. With custom application development companies like Fidget, you can experience the endless scope of AR in education. 
Is your organization ready to gain experience from simulation-based learning? I bet you are. So as instructional designers, let's get started. As a reminder, let's talk about those benefits of using AR. First, we can improve the learning experience, and this goes with the second one as well, where we can simplify complex concepts. When we're able to visualize in our real world things that are complex, we're able to learn and understand them much easier. Third, we can enhance student engagement, which leads to the fourth of motivating our learners. Where can you use AR in your instructional design? Could it be part of a manufacturing process? Or maybe medical training? Or maybe somewhere in the K-12 classroom? Next, I want you to take a moment and pause this video and go to your app store on your mobile device. Type in the words augmented reality and scan through the apps that show up. This is what I have found so far in the Apple App Store. What is an app that you found that may integrate well into a training area at your place of business? Please enter your email address in the text box provided in order to get a final summary of the apps found in the app stores. I can provide you with the daily mentions and with a total list. Thanks for watching.